That's Hyde Police Headquarters, the center of one of the biggest ever police search operations in this country. Inside now, detectives are studying a police file, which day by day grows in content. And it's collecting evidence which might confirm the killings of young children up on the Pennine Moors about seven or eight miles from here. Hinley, who said that she had a sore throat, gave her evidence in a low, husky voice. She said that she had loved Brady and still loved him. When she was cross-examined about her part in the nude photographing session with the child, Leslie Ann Downey, she said, I offer no defense for that. It was indefensible and cruel. She said she didn't know that Brady was tape recording the session and that she was ashamed when she heard the tape played later. These were three calculated, cruel and cold-blooded murders, was what Mr. Justice Fenton Atkinson said, and the, I pass the only sense the law allows. The duration of their imprisonment is now entirely at the discretion of the Home Secretary. The Home Office said tonight that a life sentence means just what it says. Police in Aspen, Colorado are smiling again tonight. Six days ago, they left accused killer Theodore Bundy alone in the Pitkin County courtroom. He jumped from a two-story window to his freedom. Early this morning, he was apprehended again. I know the vehicle driving erratically about an eighth of a mile east of Aspen on Highway 82. We observed this vehicle for a matter of seconds and I turned around and pursued it, contacted it, and uh, found Mr. Bundy driving. Police say he was talkative about his escape. According to Bundy, after he fled the courthouse last Tuesday, he headed for the hills southwest of Aspen. Judge George Lohr advised him of additional charges, escape, second-degree burglary, misdemeanor theft, and felony theft. If convicted of these counts alone, Bundy could spend 90 years in prison. The judge in Miami today followed the jury's recommendation and sentenced Theodore Bundy to die in the electric chair for the murder of two co-eds. Bundy is the 136th person under death sentence in Florida. Ed Rabel reports. Before pronouncing the sentence, Judge Edward Cowart let Bundy make a statement. I'm not asking for mercy. take fucking human life like this and just sabotage and rip it apart like Jesus on the cross and say thanks a lot for all the fucking money I made off of you and not care about a human being and the truth being told now I know what Jesus was going through you're not Eileen okay, what let's say, let's say the cops were following you yeah? let's say they were following uh -huh. you and they did everything that you're, you're saying they did uh huh nonetheless yeah. you killed seven men Yes, you're and I'm right. asking you, what got you to kill the seven And I'm men? telling you, because the cops let me keep killing them, Nick. Don't no, you not, get it? Not everybody is killing seven people. The cops knew it. When the physical trouble came along, let, them, let her clean the streets. And then we'll pull her in. But That's why. there was so much physical trouble? In just, it, because it was all in one year. Seven people in one oh, year. Oh, well. 